A good evening, this is the Nerds to Human, and welcome back to our map randomizer mod of Rogue Total War. And of course, you join us as Armenia when we're ready to take down both Carthage and Dacia, who are both down to the final cities and pretty much a turn away from destruction. In terms of our plan here today, well, we are now at 37 regions controlled, 13 more for Imperator. So that is indeed our plan here today. In theory, I could do that by taking my entire peninsula plus Carthage, just leave the Seleucids here, and that should be, I think, just about enough. More realistically, though, with Gaul and Thrace as my allies, I'm going to try and keep them such as Seleucids already are, and we'll take anyone who's not my allies. So Greece feels like a nice one because, to be honest, their border is this beautiful river here with only one exit. And uh, the crossing is right on the city here, so Sousa does feel like a very nice boundary point. I don't think there's quite a crossing there. If there is a little gap, well, that's just one tile. And then the border becomes this long river with Pontus, which, okay, there's a few more crossings, but yeah, actually not that many. Not that many, to be honest, apart from at this northern border that we already have. Our only issue with that piece is... Uh, they are actually allies with the Greeks, so that uh, they're, they're unlikely to stay friends, I, am, I suspect. However, however, that is probably the best plan if we take out the Greeks and then just finish off these little bits here. Maybe go and eat up uh, the Brutii, who are not my friends then. Yeah, that should be just about perfect. So today, yes, indeed, probably a big war with the Greeks. But before that, time to end a term, see what happens to Carthage. So let's just have a chat with the diplomats, which is normally a good sign of they're going to stab me in the back before long, but uh, let's not worry about that for now. I'm quite happy to kill them if I need to, but it's nice to see some good diplomacy if we can manage it. So, Bomekar the Just. Yes, the Just about alive. Uh, he's soon to be dead. He is lewd, um, ingenuous, fertile. Just, he's got some interesting traits here. Not too bad. Desert Scout is a lovely one as well. He'll soon be dead. Nothing too much in terms of morale as far as I saw there, but I might have uh, been skirting that a little bit too much. Oh, well, you know what? Should be simple enough. Let's head on him. Unfortunately, this is a little bit of an awkward one, simply because of the position we have here, a big, big cliff behind it. Well, not quite a cliff, but quite a hefty hill. And indeed, they are starting to come out of the side entrance as well, which is slightly problematic. Um, we are we're just dealing with the odd poke here. Unfortunately, my horse archers just got caught. Uh, the long shield cav are pretty swift, so we just need to be careful about that. They're now in the tower range, which is the uh, other issue. We've got th this little position here um, between this uh, U-shaped tower entrance and the hill. We haven't got a lot of, um, lot of position to work with, so just got to be a little bit careful. But to be honest, as they bring themselves into position here, it should give us an opportunity, actually. To start shooting them down. Let's get over there, you guys. Uh, you've you've done your job of dying. As of these lads, they've had a little poke as well. Uh, we'll just get them in the rear. And at this point, yeah, you know what? It's fine. Uh, we'll shoot them down as they try and gather together. Well, the game of cat and mouse inevitably going on here. I'm just going to send my generals over to this flank because looks like these guys are they're getting themselves. Oof! Charge straight to my phalanxes, which will do some damage, but. Yeah, they they're not gonna yeah, they're not gonna last too well against them. Actually held out with only about 30 losses. Well done, my good sir. You my good lad, go and deal with him. That'd be absolutely fine. We should be shooting this guy down like crazy here as he decides to flee. In comes their general into my general and lovely stuff. I think we'll be absolutely fine. He's got five experience on him. And these guys will now cheer charge. Cheer into the rear! They can cheer into the rear if they want, but they're mainly just going to kill them. There we are, there goes the general. He's routing, he's getting chopped down like cabbage. I mean, that's a new phrase for the roster, isn't it? Uh, chopped down like cabbage. Don't really know where that one came from, but we've got it in our roster now. So you guys, get yourselves back behind the lines. And I think we'll just wait for the next inevitably stupid charge. Looks like they're going to come in for a charge, he says, as they immediately turn away, but with some long shield and some generals, well, they do at least have some units that could cause some charge damage, but it is all phalanxes, so I'm not sure it's going to go too well. They're getting shot to ribbons as they arrive, obviously. Carthage don't have themselves any uh, range units of notes, so 
yeah, they're uh, they're in big trouble here. You know what, General? Get yourselves around the side. You've got some javelins which are doing the work. Yeah, just hit this long shield, actually. That'll be absolutely fine. Get the Barbarian Cavalry to chase them down. I don't want them actually escaping this time. Let's just get them out here. There goes the other lad. And with that, I think the battle is just about over. We'll chase them down, but pretty much seems to be that the day is ours! Don't know why I went for that, but um, it is. It is indeed ours. Of course, as we are Armenia, we will not get the squeaky narrator man quite the same. We get the generically eastern narrator man. Um, but we have clearly won the battle. And only 71 deaths. Most of those actually some horse archers who got caught out in the early exchanges. But to be honest, a pretty good job there. Well, with Carthage destroyed, then it's time for us to look for new pastures. Particularly... Um, some Greek pastures, yes, that would be marvellous. They do look all a little bit frozen right now, which is interesting. Um, we're getting some cold quite deep into the map here. I guess when I look at this map, I'm looking at this more like a sieve map and thinking that this should be the sort of warm tropical area in the middle. No, we're still um, we're still very much kind of centred on yeah the Mediterranean world being towards the south end of the map, aren't we? Okay, that's fine. Um, we're doing all right here. We're doing all right. I suspect it is time to go and kill the last of the Dacians. To be honest with you, there's not it. Oh, did my general die? My general must have died. How sad. Yeah, this lad's just walking around. But to be honest, I can't be bothered to even deal with him at this stage. I think we'll just waltz on him. We'll claim our victory. And yeah, one more extermination. And with that, faction destroyed. Don't go another enemy. One of our old allies, you stabbed us in the back. Didn't even have the politeness to tell us they were going to stab us in the back. Rubbish. Pontus and Dacia. That's... Well, they're dead now, but that's bad because that means they're now allied with someone that we just killed. And that, that furthers their hatred towards us. Great. Great, 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 great. Yes, Amory the Conqueror didn't quite manage to do his uh, finish his duty off there. But you know what? Maybe it's like Moses... He can get to the foothills, but he may never step foot in the promised land. Okay, well, Tigranese there, the Geomancer, which always sounds like a f delightfully fun thing. Um, he has that, not too shabby, I guess. And otherwise, nothing too interesting going on. But immediately, that brings us down to only 11 more regions. So, I'm very much thinking, yeah... Brutey eyes. You do seem to be successfully waging war in the Gallic territories right now. There are, yeah, four more for them to take. Looked like there, that was going to go the other way for a long time, but we will see about that. Fine, we'll gather our force in this part of the world. We'll just keep an eye on our allies, Thrace. I don't know how pleased they're going to be about this new situation. They don't seem to be too perturbed by me right now, but yeah, got to keep a close eye on all of that. Things looking. Okay, in this part of the world, to be honest, I'm not too concerned by Thrace's power. They don't have an awful lot, and uh, to be honest, they'll just be shot to ribbons if they decide to attack me. So, I do have this force over here. I would say the sea would make sense, but it doesn't make sense because no one is a... Uh, no one's going to manage to get across the sea. It's just full of pirates, quite frankly. No one's con uh, got any control over that. Now, this army has been uh, gathered in the in-between times, and at this point, to be honest, I think... That should probably do for dealing with most of the Brutii. I will get a second force built up. We are struggling with um, public order, which does seem to be a common thread. Um, particularly on the time lapses, particularly on the map randomizer mod, because there are no of the wonders. None of the wonders to go and help with any of that nonsense. As for Greece, what are they up to? Nothing really. I can't see any of their forays into our territory right now, apart from this little guy here. Things looking good. I think we'll just continue to march our troops towards, yeah, further towards the Greek borders. And particularly this one, this one really, really feels like a border territory, doesn't it? That river goes on for pretty much, pretty much forever. That's very nice. In theory, depending on who else decides to backstab us, this would be a nice territory to grab along with this one as a border. But we'll just have to see how it all goes. Another day, another bridge battle of doom over here nearby Lazora. There are reinforcements on their way from Carthage, but they're not here just yet. We're going to have to hold. Um, they have no no general, so captain here, but yeah, 
ballistas, armoured hoplites, a few archers, plenty more hoplites besides, hopefully, the militia hoplites are at the front, but this could be very, very tricky indeed. Let's head in. This could be a very intriguing battle indeed. Their archers are coming forward. You better just shoot those down early doors. Make sure that they aren't causing us any problems. They're going to get absolutely swamped by arrow fire. Uh, militia cavalry, they are annoying, but not in this kind of battle. Now, my cavalry over here, you might have noticed, do have themselves a crossing point. And that is exactly what we need in this battle because it's pretty much our best opportunity uh, more archers coming in here that's absolutely fine uh militia hoplites not quite in range to shame because that flank is very very open indeed right these archers in the flank could be a big boon to us and to be honest the longer the longer it takes until they decide to run over this bridge the better for us it gives us more skirmish time and less time worrying about the fact that we don't really have enough phalanxes to take them on and while we're very strong they are equally phalanxes, so hmm, could be very, very awkward indeed. So, my good sirs, you shoot those militia hop like they're just a little bit vulnerable right now. It is unfortunately their shield side, but you might get a few hits in. Now, ballistas, ooh, ballistas are actually in range there, so we're just going to charge on him. We're just going to charge in at them. We just need to take them down if at all possible. We've got some militia hop lights at the front. Okay, we're going to change to them right now. All missiles in at those militia hoplites. They need to get ripped apart. Ballistas. They are going to stand there and take it. We just need to be slightly careful that we don't get ourselves wrapped up in anything else. Good. Pull out of there. Pull out of there. Pull out of there. Pull out of there. They are getting somewhat shot, I think, by the javelins. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. They're not quite making it across this bridge yet. They haven't made up their mind, and that's good for us. We're just shooting right into the front of them. You, my good sirs, you chop up those guys. You shoot into those lads. Get away from the spearmen! <laughs> uh, I think we're fine. Just a few a few numpties causing some problems. But we need to get around to these other ballistas, actually. There's a second unit over there. They're sending some of their infantry to come and deal with us. Not the end of the world. Um, what are we doing? You guys get into those ballistas. You just get around... And do it. That was a very sharp corner, and it told them exactly what we we're about to do. They're clever. They'll send those militia cav to come and defend. Those are militia hoplites. I reckon even these guys might be able to take them if we're lucky. Uh, archers, what's going on over here? We're just shooting into the pack. Who is the captain? It is that militia cavalry. Let's just get everyone shooting in on him. Good, good, good. These guys are not the experienced lads that we'll have to do. What's about to happen with these guys? Militia hoplites, they are facing the wrong way! And, I yes, we've managed to route them. They are only militia hoplites, and indeed, it thus worked. You guys pull out of there. Come on, listen to the instruction. Good, 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 good. Right, you, shoot into them. You, mop them up. Um, How is this going? This is going pretty well, actually. They haven't really managed to push our front very much. They're getting very much stuck on the bridge. I think with units who are running away. Shooting to the back of them, actually. You continue to skirmish to those lads. And you've pretty much mopped them up. So you can come over here and shoot them as well. I don't actually care about this one. This should hop light for quite a while. They're a fair distance away from our battle. Good, you guys. Just start spreading yourself a little bit wider. Thank you very much. And I'm going to bring these guys back in this direction. Because... Yeah, into the rear. Oh, this is very nice indeed. We are getting shot by something. I think it's just the oh, odd erroneous, 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 Iranian javelin. These aren't Iranians either. Um, the odd erroneous javelin is coming in, but let's not worry too much about any of that. You shoot them down. This is working very well. They actually finally managed to get some units to the front. Hoplites, not militia hoplites, but not the armoured hoplites either. So that's not the worst thing. There are some armoured hoplites there. Javelins from the general causing some mayhem. Not everything. Are they going to run away? They just shouted something. Don't quite know if I caught it. You guys go and mop them up. That would be ideal. And we're lucky. We'll just turn these guys into just slightly more into that direction. Yeah, they might just turn now. Their spikes are coming up. And that charge hopefully will be enough to break them. It is indeed. Okay. You guys pile through them. We seem to have... You've completely missed. 
Okay, let's not worry about that. Let's just get all of you back over here. Shoot them in the flank. This flanking army is definitely, definitely done the job here. That is just what we wanted to see. Everyone else just shoot into the pile of them. And hope for the best. We have... Oh, they're finally starting to turn around now. A bit late for that, my lads. A bit late for that. Good here, lad here. I don't know what that happened there. I don't know what that happened. I can't even speak. I'm just saying nonsense now. But it's fine because victory is surely, surely within our reach at this point. Cataract archers are out of ammo. In that case, I'm going to send them over there because, yeah, they could probably do some good job mopping up. I don't actually care about mopping these guys up in general. Quite happy to continue shooting into the flanks and they're just stuck, aren't they? I think there's too many lads trying to flee and they can't get through the lads that are trying to flee. Uh, their general is fleeing right in the middle of them. That's quite fun for us. So, yeah, is there any point in killing him? Many, many reasons, my good sir, but uh, let's not worry about that right now. Right, ship him down. I think we got this. Uh, hot plate, starting and broken. There we are. There is the mass route. And with that, victory and glory. No more shooting of your missiles, please. Everyone charging across. Cataphracts are going to be just a tiny bit late to the party, but it doesn't really matter. The job has been done. No more missiles to be shot. Piling in. Don't drown yourselves, my good horses. We're going to need every last one of you, Daves, for the assault on the Greeks, who are looking pretty strong by and large, but very, very happy to take out this army. This one looked pretty darn mean indeed. Well, as the vultures circle above, we can see that this river is not quite littered with Greek corpses, but um, certainly there's plenty of them in here, aren't they? Oh, this is very, very nice indeed. Probably, probably got one or two of ours in there as well, but the job is essentially done with... Wow, 97% of them, only 6% of us. Well, time to get him, mop up the last of them, but uh, a job well done, it should be said. You have crushed the enemy, indeed. What an absolute massacre. 2,500 to just 100, and uh, look at that beautiful pile of golden corpses littering the bridge. Just what we want to see. Well, a few turns on, and our army has finally arrived in the Brutii territory, Bostra over here is uh, currently the one under siege and this bloodthirsty and very fruitful man is the man leading the charge and well, plenty of experience even if not actually that impressive in terms of his overall stats to be honest but uh, you know what the Brutii and Klee don't fancy their chances because they ask for a ceasefire immediately so uh, not sure how that's going to go for them. They are actually also dealing with the uh, ghouls right now. So hopefully they'll go in and uh, take them out. Actually, the ghouls are my allies. I'd rather they don't take that. I'd rather I can grab that for myself. So we'll see how that goes. Um, up in Moreau, I should show you, actually, we've got a little bit of work going on here. And we do at last have some Armenian legionaries, which is excellent news indeed. We have, uh, well, they're basically principes, to be honest, but it's nice to have a bit of variety decent decent units we have some onagers which is nice to see um we could use those to crack down some of the great walls and i do quite like them in the field uh cataphracts are on their way with the cavalry stables and we also have some beautiful beautiful quinkareems to wrestle control the sea because god knows we need it so uh yes a bit of retraining going on as well you can see we've got some uh, silver swords here uh we'll be improving all of that and as for the greeks well the main army we currently got with our attacks is the Mighty here. He's, uh, yeah, currently besieging the city. I do do see that there are reinforcements around, so good chance they're going to arrive before too long. But uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that for now. We're just going to keep on besieging the city. Claim of Sparta, not too old at this point, so unlikely to, uh, to die. But we've got some reinforcements in the background just to refresh our forces should we need them. In terms of our borderlands, we're just trying to keep them topped up enough that the Pontics don't get any silly ideas. I have a lot of spies around, and between them we have a pretty good idea about where their forces are and what they've got. Uh, certainly in terms of volume, if not actually quality, because, yeah, they don't look like they've got lots and lots of chariots, which is good news for us. But aside from that, we'll just... Uh, Try and keep them out of this war. So yes, we'll end a turn, see what happens. But I suspect the Greeks are coming for us pretty darn soon. Well, indeed, soon enough they have arrived. And, well, the force looks like a pretty solid one, actually. We have Yunor of Argania. 
Uh, pretty basic young lad, but better to have a general than not. Plenty of militia hoplites in this force. These but a few units just to take note of at the back. We've got some ballistas, got some militia cavalry to take out, and the hiding unit at the bottom, just a militia hoplite. Okay, not too bad, and in the city we already know not the greatest force in the world. We want to try and minimise our losses here, but there's two armies. We've got the range aside from those ballistas. So, uh, you know what, cavalry advantage is pretty much game set and match as well as I'm concerned. So, in we go, and hopefully this is one of the key battles, and we can claim a big victory. What a Greek formation this is. Just a massive line. Who has the longer line? Well, I have cavalry, so um, I can definitely spread them out more and around you if I need to. There is a hill in the corner here, so whilst we're not quite corner camping, we are taking advantage of the major hill. So uh, I have just left a tiny space out of goodwill, frankly, but uh, little other reason. So, uh, horse archers, head over to that flank. Cataphract archers, you can just stand over here and just be the early radar system of sorts, I guess. We're not going to quite go into V Formation of Doom immediately, but we're doing something a bit like that. Make sure these guys are the ones shot down first, because the Militia Cavalry, oh, they're incredibly annoying, aren't they? Of course, there becomes a point where you just need to go and charge them down, so that's what we're now going to do. This unit is weak enough. It is routed almost immediately. That is excellent news. And with that, uh, yeah, we'll just let them run off in that direction. You shoot at them, but the rest of us will get ourselves ready to deal with these guys. Good news. Okay. Get yourselves that side of the rock, that's probably for the best, my good sirs. Well done. As for my cataphract arches, nothing too much going on right now. Don't need to worry about it. As long as I've only really got the infantry left to deal with, I'm not too concerned. Bit concerned in some ways, though, that they do have quite a lot for me to take out. But we'll see how that goes. Peltasar being shot to ribbons. That's nice to see. These guys are weak enough where I'll just charge them. Peltasar considering a javelin, but to be honest, I think they've realised how out of position they are. And with that, we'll probably get the route of both these units pretty much immediately. So let's stop the, uh, stop the shooting and just start charging. That's lovely. And with that, we've largely mopped up they're skirmisher units, that's just how we want to begin this. Okay, lovely stuff, you guys. Get on to Shooty McGee. Yeah, there we are, Shooty McGee mode. And with that, back on skirmish, thank you very much. One of you, chase them down. The other two, in fact, no, you're the weak lad, you chase them down. The rest of us, we're going to head and try and deal with some other units. As ever, this kind of battle is a little bit awkward, but we are managing to position ourselves pretty nicely on the whole. They are peeling off occasionally just to get themselves in the best position. General up here. Hmm. What do you want to do with our cataphract arches? These guys, at the very least, can go up to this flank. The snow is not rendered very well in terms of the graphics, is it? It's just a big, bright, bright doom fest in my eyes. And I can't really deal with it, to be honest. So we're just going to move these guys back. Uh, general, you can start to head in this direction. It's starting to get a little bit bitty. There's a general's bodyguard over here trying to deal with us. That's a little bit concerning. Piltast over here. You guys just continue. Keep your nerve. Keep your nerve. You just need to yeah, get yourselves into awkward positions. They Are, are they retreating or are they just reorganising? I think they're reorganising. But, again, just need to be careful about all of this. Right, you guys. Pale test, pale test, pale test. Yeah, get onto the flank. Get down this flank. That's what we want to see. There we go. I managed to find somewhere that we can actually move into. That's good to see. Their hot are all over the place at this point. And those pill tasks, whilst I would have liked to get a few more shots into them, we'll just charge them. I'm sure it'll be absolutely a okay. And these hoplites. Yeah, we'll just run through them. Run through the pill tasks. Don't worry about those hoplites at all. Just a few men. Nothing too bad. General's bodyguard is just about catching one of our units. That's not ideal, but hopefully we'll just be able to run off and hopefully pull him away from the main fray for the time being. That's not the end of the world. You guys just continue to run. Uh, oh, you numpties. Don't get caught out. Don't get caught out. Shoot him down. In fact, just, just charge in that general direction. They are very isolated at this point and they might just have to deal with this the best they can. Down. Okay. 
general's dead. I wasn't really anticipating that. I thought there was ours for a minute because I do know this guy had been sent into battle, but that's our second general, and actually he ended up taking out theirs. So well done. But at this point, it's definitely pulled back because your your job is not to die, my good sir. It's not to die. You get into them. We'll just see if the horse archers can do enough here. It might just be sheer numbers. Can pull do a job on this general? I don't think so. Don't think so. You guys pull out of there. If nothing else, yeah, if nothing else, we'll at least just be able to uh, deal with these Peltas. And we pulled him away from the fray for a little while. Not the worst engagement in the world. He has lost quite a few, but we lost a few too many, to be honest. Not grand, but the rest of this is pretty much how I want it to be going. As it turns out, the horse artists are going to do the job against the general. Well done, my good sirs. They have a lot of experience in fairness, but even so, that's a impressive job there. Right, he's turning around this way, probably because they're fleeing. And down he goes, shot off his horse like an absolute gibbon. That made perfect sense in my mind, and I'm going to stick with that phrase. Thank you very much. Right, their line is finally actually going to bother dealing with us, which is kind of funny. My cataract archers over here have run out of ammo, so have they. Just get yourselves out of the way of that. These guys are just going to go face down that bodyguard. That's fine by me. Uh, they'll absolutely rinse him, I'm sure. And with that, yeah, these guys managed to get out to the flank like I asked them to. That's perfect. You guys chase. At some point, we'll click on them and chase them down. That'd be grand. And the encirclement will start to begin now because whilst they're going to pin us up in this corner of the map, um, at the very least, we've pretty much cleared out their generals. We've cleared out the rest of them. Yep, you're gone. You're gone. And that means now... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Close the trap. Close the trap. Get those horse archers into the rear. This has worked out pretty much perfectly. It should be said, whilst a few men have been lost, I am very happy with all of this. At the longest of last, we finally actually have an engagement here. Armoured Hoplites against our lads. Obviously, we are not necessarily uh, particularly well designed to win that. But at this point, yeah, the morale is so strong on our side. Oh, dear. Armoured Hoplites. Um, yeah, so strong on our side that I think we'll be absolutely fine. This is the one unit I didn't manage to get onto skirmish mode, annoyingly. Fine. Get yourselves over this part of the world. In fact, just get yourselves up this hill. Get yourselves up there and out of the way, my good sirs. Uh, you're in, you're, you're, you're really in trouble, aren't you? You're in a terrible, terrible position. Just run through the centre of the park. I'm sure it's absolutely fine. You know what? It looks like you pretty much routed everyone. So, well, actually, they're not quite routing. They're sort of half running away. It's a bit strange here right now. Um, you know what? Time to just charge the cataphracts down the hill. There might be cataphract archers, but they'll certainly do the job if I'm frank about it. So let's go and get yeah you guys into them. Hop lights, as long as we don't charge headfirst into spikes, we should be absolutely fine, he says, as he charges headfirst into spikes. But their militia hop lights are all is absolutely fine and dandy like lemon shandy. Oh, I love it. Uh, their armored hop lights, Thomas, still don't charge into them. Still not a good idea. Those hop lights, though, probably okay if I keep an eye on it. Looks like we've like largely done the job here. Very, very impressive victory, it should be said, because whilst I had plenty of advantages, I uh, didn't foresee quite such a clean victory. I mean, we lost a few horse archers to the general, but quite frankly, who, who, who would expect anything other than that particular outcome? So, well done, my good sir. Horse archers going to charge into them. It's absolutely fine. Blow the horn. Oh, we, we didn't blow the horn of destiny, but the victory's there nonetheless. Lovely stuff. Charge into them. And uh, no, basically no missiles left to turn off at this point. So job well done. 5% lost. That is just magnificent work by me. Well done, me. I'm going to give myself a pat on the back. Lovely. If you want a clear victory, my oh my, that is the one right there. 3,600 to there, less than 150. That was truly magnificent. But with the city a burning wreck then, I think it's time for us to uh, think where we're going with these Greeks because I need a few more scouts, a few more of my spies in this part of the world. Uh, I do have a couple, but I do have a little bit more sight further into their empire. And to be honest, it looks like... I can see so far that they might have actually used up a lot more of their strength against me than I realised. 
They're looking on fairly on the empty side, and this one has troops, but it's quite undeveloped. Okay, so when our boats get across the ocean very, very soon, well, this could work out beautifully for us. Unfortunately, ladies and gents, the day has come. Our taxes, the mighty, has passed away of natural causes. They've decided to play <laughs> a rather happy tune in the background, if you can hear it, on this particular occasion. We've got that Arabic summer, but uh, no, a sad day has passed away of natural causes, it should be said. Taking Athens was his final victory, and uh, one in which his uh, protege here, Ben Narahi of Asamasota, well, he oversaw as well both of them reaching nine experience obscene. Both of these proven lordies scarred, untouched by fear, sanguinary, much, much similar to his good friend Artaxius. It's uh, it's sad indeed, but you know what? It's absolutely fine. Most of his job was completed. There are only a few more, few more cities left to take. He was factionaire, by the way. Never made it to be a faction leader. But uh, a faction leader, I believe, is the guy over in Carthage. That should be that lad. Is that you over there, my good sir? Yes, indeed, Zippetes, who's soon to uh, pass away as well. Blessed with vitality. Lovely, lovely stuff. But um, yes, as a result of, uh, of, of Zippetes' long and uh, successful career, unfortunately, Artaxius has not made it to be the leader. But you know what? He never needed to be. He never needed to be. He was always happy being the spare and... Uh, with that, with that, Athens is ours, and uh, he, well, Greece is looking quite weak all of a sudden. It was a decent uh, little battle here, kind of similar to the battle before, to be honest, on a slightly smaller scale, so uh, I haven't bothered showing it to you. What's more interesting, though, I suppose, is that we do at least have this army nearly, nearly ready to go. Cataphracts going to come in uh, just to finish that off. Do we have anything else to send? Not really. We'll leave on space in case there's some interesting uh, mercs in that part of the world. Haven't seen any interesting ones recently, if I'm honest. No one over here whatsoever. I guess the other thing of note is that Bostra is one turn from being taken. Tyre over here, uh, well, the siege was broken once, but it's back under siege again. I don't think the Bruti eyes are getting away from this. We do have an extra army gathered over from this part of the world. The Thracians not looking like they're going to stab me in the back, so uh, we'll head over to Condate with Donum and take that down before too long. So we're in a turn. Let's see what happens here at Bostra. Well, Cornelius the Morbid, excellent name there, has decided to head on into battle. What has he got that makes him so likely? He's just a precious, melancholic Bloodthirsty, vitality, uncontrollable rage. Good, honest Roman local hero. Boring beyond belief. This guy's got an amazing mix of nonsense coming on, hasn't he? I'd love to hear his speech before this battle because that would be, of course, quite beautiful. But yes, between being a bloodthirsty, melancholic, uh, boring beyond belief, yet still a hero and a good, honest Roman. I don't know what that says about these lads, but uh, you know, and he hangs out with a famous wrestler and a priest of Mars. What a strange, strange man. Let's put him out of his uh, out of his misery. There's not a lot here, apart from some dogs again. I forgot about the dogs. It's been a while since we had to deal with those. Uh, pretty bad an episode, but there we are. Right, let's head in. Let's slaughter them. Well, of course, they have absolutely no hope of achieving anything here, but you know what? We'll... Uh, We'll come along for the ride. Uh, units are vaguely trying to get in position. One unit of spearmen. It's an absolute mile away from the battle. Maybe they'll make it there one day. Do they have anything to do anything? We're just the Velites there at the front right now. Some started trying to get in position. Oh, you know what? We've got plenty of horse archers to really stretch this out a bit. They only have pathetic towers, so we'll... Do a good bit of V formation of doom here today. No worry about you, my good general. Yeah, let's really, really get that stretched in that direction. Get those lads over there. And these two, spread yourselves out. This is going to be fun. Indeed, they're breaking before they get anywhere near us. And that's only the horse archers there. So, yeah, unlikely for them to achieve that much. War dogs, war dogs, war dogs, war dogs. Okay. Shoot them down. Um, you guys. Both of you. Shoot them. Oh, we've actually got some uh, some movement there. Interesting. Yes, the war dogs do need to get shot down, my good sir. So please get on that. We're going to have fire arrows today. Why not? 
Why not indeed? Those Astarte can go down. Please just shoot the guys that are closest. They're not very happy about any of that. Yeah, shoot them down. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, Romans, this isn't going to go very well for you because um, have you, I don't know if you learned anything from the Senate, but pretty much you just get shot to ribbons and that's how it goes. These dogs are pretty much your only hope and um, they do seem to be slowly, slowly getting whittled down. Apparently a minor skirmish just happened. I didn't notice it. Uh, I'm guessing some cavalry came out of that flank. Indeed they did. How lovely. You know what, we'll just get some... Uh, these infantry, which are currently not in position, to go and get themselves into a position. That's lovely. And maybe the general will just walk into that trap as well. Benitez getting shot down by the fire. The frame rate is not happy. And I am, however, delighted. So all is good at this part and this time. Um, I don't really know what's happened to those dogs. Oh, there are the dogs. No. Actually, they're going to run into infantry for once, which is nice. Um, are we going to let them through? Yeah, unfortunately this Steve is going to get poked a little bit. Got some hillmen who are going to get themselves eaten by dogs. Stand your ground, lads! Stand your ground! Poke, 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 poke. At least we're not being chased uh, on this occasion, as we normally are. I think the rest of this should be simple enough. These guys, I don't know what they're trying to achieve, but uh, they seem to have lost their minds. As you might expect, it's all very much going down with a whimper here. He is officially fleeing. Getting burnt to a crisp and running away. Yep. You'd expect these guys to have run away before him, but no, he's the biggest coward of them all. Having retreated several times, the general decides one last hurrah is to charge at these horse archers who presumably <laughs> are just going to shoot him in the back now. Ah, oh, wonderful. And by doing so, he's now going to run in front of every other unit on the field, which means... He's uh, definitely going to get himself shot down at this point, isn't he? Yeah, it's uh, pretty much general versus all the arrows in the world. And indeed, the victor is all the arrows in the world. Well, another day, another victory over the brutey ice scum. And, uh, well, Cornelius the Morbid has at least been put out of his misery. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, the final twist has happened and uh, the Seleucids... My allies have stabbed me in the back. Well, well, well. Wellity, wellity, wellity. Uh, that might just be... Hmm. That might just be a game changer, you know, because I... I don't have too many. Yeah. The poxmarked countenance of an enemy belief. Yes, indeed. Um, betrayed brutally. We're so close. Eight regions from the end. I can't help but notice he's got five that we could eat. So maybe, my good sirs, maybe yours need to go down. Maybe this army here could be better serviced eating our betraying former friends. Oh. Oh, then maybe that is the better way to do this. I don't know now, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, uh, okay. What are we doing? I'd like to go and finish off the, the Greeks, to be honest. And it would have ended up quite nicely rounding things off. But um, we've got to, got to figure out what we're doing at this point. So Bosch has gone down. It's been burnt to a crisp. He's not very happy about it. But you know what? It'll just have to accept it with a billion peasants. That's fine, because our army... Hmm. Tyre has held on. That's interesting, isn't it? You can get most of the way there, so that means that, yep, yeah, we're going to go and do that. Lovely. Our city now, Gauls, you utter fools. What did I just send there? Oh, horse archers. Okay. Well, the rest of them can pretty much go along. We'll leave the leave those lads behind. Why won't you be able to join him? Apparently, apparently we're struggling to quite make it there, which is a bit strange because it certainly looks like it is possible. But apparently not quite. So there we are. They can head over there and deal with that. The Brutii have got some reinforcements in the region. Nothing that's going to cause me many problems because that's a pretty solid army. And okay, I've got a bit of basic work around the Empire today. Oh god, this is going to be expensive. Royal Palace. It's my, probably my first mega city. I'm not sure. But um, certainly that one's the old German capital is looking pretty strong. Uh, it might not be in the capital, actually. 
I don't really remember, but uh, nonetheless, nonetheless, we've got to reassess our final goals here with the Seleucids giving us the old uh, stab in the back. With that stab in the back from the Seleucids, we are unfortunately going to have to redirect some of our forces. Carthage here under siege, again, not a particularly good looking force from what I can see. Captain, no general, but there are some more generals and big stacks lying to the west, so we do need to be careful with this. I did anticipate this possibility. I'm just surprised I didn't do it sooner when we actually were quite weak. At this stage, we do have archers and spearmen to defend the walls, uh, so I think we'll be okay. We are, though, sending reinforcements, plenty of generals, some horses, and, of course, the army that used to defend the Bridge of Doom from the Greeks. Yes, indeed, they're now free to go and move over in this direction, so before too long, they'll be able to make it there to reinforce. They've really got to take advantage of this early opportunity uh, if they're going to do anything. Down in this part of the world, well, if you've never noticed, by the way, there is almost no way to get to them here. Shus and Essos, we have this river with no crossing all the way to here. Between the mountains and the river, you can't actually get there apart from this bridge and this bridge down here. It's, it's partly why it's always been quite a safe and stable alliance between them because, yeah, there was really no way for us to get to each other. Of course, killing Carthage has given them a bit of that uh, invitation, although, to be honest, if they'd taken them as they were trying to, you would have the same problem anyway, except these are much stronger cities to try and defend. We have some stone walls and I have some archers to use on them. So I'm quite happy with this scenario, to be honest. I just sent these guys flying around because the city is currently empty. Don't know why, but it is. We do, as ever, have a hundred spies lying around. If I can afford it, I do absolutely litter the land with spies. I want to know everything I possibly can. Uh, on that note of being down here, actually, Yes, this battle here, we'll get to that in a moment. Um, the Greeks, the Greeks, the Greeks, the Greeks. Yeah, Athens are quite happy to sit here and defend. You've got a large stone wall, got some arches, got some more lads coming in. In fact, just to make sure that we are safe, we'll get a second unit of arches coming as well. But you know what, they don't seem to have an awful lot left. What they do have is some troops over towards Jerusalem. Not sure why we can't quite see that right now. There we go. And this spy can just sort of try and close the gap between the two regions. There we are. So, yeah, can't see an awful lot coming. But I think we'll go get Jerusalem, grab that. And, of course, with the reinforcements coming from Moreau. And we have, well, some cataphracts, some onages, and some legionnaires. The rest of the army is pretty fresh. Not to experience, but he is. He'll be grand. We will dump him off and... Uh, yeah, make sure that we grab ourselves a couple of watchtowers. Tigranes! Tigranes, the great of history, of course. Perhaps it is down to him to finally finish off the Greeks. We'll see about that. But before we finish off for the day, because I was kind of hoping that we'd be able to get to the end today, uh, that Seleucid War, I feel like we need to deal with them properly. So you know what? You know what? Captain Nero! Captain Nero will not ride again. And if you uh, watch me a true nerd, you will hopefully understand the reference. Yes, uh, bridge battle with Captain Nero. He does a ballista, he has dogs, and uh, two Velite and 17 Triarii. But, uh, oh, some lovely, lovely Cloak Town Watch too. But this is going to be the rare circumstance where I decide I'm actually going to attack a bridge. They actually have the range advantage as well, uh, in the sense that they have ballista, but of course we have so many troops. I'm banking, to some extent, huh, banking, uh, I'm banking on there being a bit of the riverbank that I can actually cross over. Uh, we'll see how that goes. If not, we'll just have to drown them in arrows and hope the ballistas don't cause too many problems. Let's head in. Let's take them down. As we move ourselves into position, I can see exactly what I want. And we do indeed have the crossing that we desired. That is very much in our favour, which means that I feel absolutely confident that they, we will now be able to win. However, 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 how efficient can we make it? They have the Velites at the front, no archers. They do, of course, have those ballistas at the back. Where is their range? They're not currently shooting, but they are starting to move around. Our horses are galloping across. They're a little crossing here. Very nice, a little bit of a splash. Not, I've never really looked too closely at this animation. Um, but you know what? It will do. They're actually half in the water, which is 
better than potentially was anticipated. So fair enough. Cavalry Exilia, are they just retreating? Well, they're moving back. I'm not sure they are in retreat per se, but uh, hey ho, let's just get ourselves into this position. I didn't normally send this many over. Normally I'd only send three, but we're not in the best position on this bridge. So I tell you what, we'll grab these two cataphract archers and these ones can head over there. As for you guys, you just need to get on top of these cavalry auxilia. Yeah, you guys go and do that. That'd be perfect. Great, great, great news. They are not in position yet. Hastati moving over archers, getting their shots in. They might even move into slinger range. They have indeed done that. Okay, that's just the ticket. Right, two of you. Shoot down them. Uh, another one of you. Shoot down this other unit over there. Uh, horse archers. Yeah, they have more war dogs as well. The war dogs can obviously be very, very irritating towards us. So actually, I might just start focusing a bit of attention on those war dogs. Making sure none of that normal nonsense happens. It's going to be a bit more of a skirmish back here than I anticipated, actually. With quite a few bits of cavalry. And those war dogs, yeah, very much need to get shot down. So let's focus fire on them. Actually... To do that, we're going to need to get from behind those trees because that's probably just giving a bit of cover. Equators get shot down, and they're just standing here getting shot. Perfect. So far, the ballista's only been rearranging itself, moving around, which means that we're very much in a position that we are happy with. Let's get a couple of these there, a couple of these over here. Let's just keep on getting people in the right position. War dogs have not been raised. I don't mind them being charged over the bridge. I definitely don't want them charging towards our cavalry. So let's just make sure we are way, way out of range of those dogs. It's always got a little bit more than you think it does. They're down to 25. That's good news indeed. You shoot them. Yeah, shoot them. They've got excellent range on those. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we'll get back in range, but you guys are a little bit too close. It's a bit of a game of cat and mouse, and by that I mean uh, horse and dog. Apparently the actual battle, which I'm not paying any attention to, or what should be the actual battle, is uh, currently... Well, I guess I am the one attacking, so it makes sense that um, they're not crossing the bridge. They're currently defending the bridge, Thomas. But you know what? Uh, in their circumstance, it probably makes sense for them to... I don't know, either turn around and attack us or do something about that. I probably wouldn't run into... Um, this myself, by the way. Doesn't look too inviting for them. But, yeah. Okay, ballistas are actually potentially ready to shoot. That's a bit concerning. Uh, move yourself around. There we go. They're, they're down to four. That's fine. Cavalry are charging in. I think, I think we cleared out the dogs. Oh, that's lovely to see. That is absolutely magnificent nudes and... With that, the equity can go down and we can pretty much encircle and destroy them all. Now that the general's gone, they've decided to actually come over and attempt to help the situation, which obviously isn't going to work. So these guys can now go on to skirmish, lovely stuff, and we'll just immediately run away, I assume. Uh, anytime, anytime. There we go, okay. Velites are potentially going to try and do something, but they're pretty much annihilated by this point. Why are you charging at them? I mean, it's kind of working slightly. There we go. Anyway, all missiles off. <laughs> no rest or pity. Indeed. Chop them down to the last. That went surprisingly well. I mean, I was expecting the bridge to help us out, but uh, also the crossing to help us out. But there we are. Bridge well defended, guys. Well done. Uh, four kills. I'm not really sure what those four kills were. Maybe a, the odd javelin here or there, but uh, victory certainly ours. Well, with victory there then, we decided to move a little bit further south. You might have noticed, by the way, that I pulled away from Tyre. To some extent, I mean, the, the ghouls were kind of then just charging towards me. Uh, I would kind of like them to stay as allies, and seeing as I'm going to eat all these settlements... I don't feel the same need to actually take this as I did before just to get my numbers up. So, yeah, we'll just take the Slayersids out and uh, hopefully the ghouls will stay friends. We might have annoyed them by taking a city that they're interested in, but uh, you know what? Sod them. Um, if they want to attack us, we'll absolutely crucify them, but uh, I'm going to give them the option of surviving. 
And indeed, here come the Seleucids. So I said we will finish up. You know what? We'll finish up on this siege defence because it isn't something that we've done for a long time. I How many siege defences have we done in this game? I don't know. I've made this series over a long, long period of time. So no idea about that. But yeah, it's not an army that's particularly well suited. They do have the numerical advantage, of course, because we have lost a strangely large amount, I would say, to... Uh, to hunger but uh you know what it's fine let's see how they do they haven't got much siege equipment so it can't go that well let's see them head in let's see them burn and die well this should be an interesting affair we've got a big pile of archers and thus a big pile of flaming arrows which uh we're going to try and make use of because i very much like to destroy this tower if i can i have a big pile of peasants and i'm not really there we go not really used to to be honest having the large unit scale when defending so we're taking up a huge chunk of the wall just by laying everyone along it. So, unfortunately, this tower doesn't look like it's going to burn right now. We're trying, but, um, yeah, of course, very hard, very hard. It very, very rarely actually lets you burn them down, which is a bit of a shame. We're actually being shot by their towers now, which is not ideal. Last chance to burn it, to be honest. Doesn't look like it managed to catch it there. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. We'll carry on shooting then from our positions. All archers uh, turn off the skirmish mode. There we are. That ram, at least, has been burnt down, which will narrow their options. Time to start shooting them like mad. The rest of their units here are now going to get shot to ribbons. That is exactly what we want to see. A bit unfortunate we can't hit that tower. If we had archers, actually, in theory, these archers, if they had long enough range, could hit this. I do find it a bit irritating about Armenia that... They uh, do have cataphract arches who have long range, very long range, but they don't have normal arches, which do. Bit of a shame, but it is what it is. Whilst the siege tower, of course, is going to potentially cause me some problems, uh, for now it will slow them down. Uh, for the moment, they're climbing up militia hoplites against hillmen, and they're slightly catching these arches as well, which is just a bit of a shame. Wasn't quite sure where the angle was going to end. I hope. In general, we can still continue to shoot. Looks like we are. Sort of. Anytime. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Anytime you want to, that'd be grand. As for the rest of this, these guys are just standing around getting shot. That's kind of perfect. These landers still haven't decided what they're doing. Um, doing a bit of a jig here. I, I quite like the jig. Keep doing the jig. You'll just get yourself shot to ribbons. And uh, I will definitely be overusing that phrase. Okay. Well... This side of the battlefield is a bit, uh, very much in my favour, I would suggest. It's this side where things are potentially a bit more dramatic. Levy pikemen, who, really, their advantage is in their numbers because, yeah, their stats are not great. Obviously, we've got our guys here, not in and uh, phalanx formation, but we are a lot tougher. Uh, we are actually tough units in themselves, as well as the formation helping us out, so... Yeah, this is all right. We're getting a few shots down. That archers are a bit distracted. It'd be great if we could just take care of these. And I wouldn't mind, to be honest, archers. Can we just rearrange you slightly? Yeah, we just bring you across. Just to make sure they're not going to quite reach you. That would be beautiful. Okay, and now you're free to continue firing um, if they want to. There we go. They've decided they want to keep firing. That's good. Very, very good news indeed. So these guys are shooting into the side of those Levy Pikemen. They're doing a bit. This is probably a better shot. You'll be able to maybe clip a few more units as you go. On this side, by the way, peasants. There are some heavy spearmen up here. Get more peasants. It's just a big pile of uh, whatever we can get our hands on, to be honest. The gateway should be safe. So these Phalanx Pikemen should probably... Oh, there isn't actually an entrance to the wall there. That's a bit of a problem. There's no tower entrance. So, don't open the gate, my good sir. Please don't open the gate. Um, fine, we can reinforce this way, but we can't reinforce the other way. We'll send them over there. Better than nothing. Send the horse archers out. They're out uh, at the other gateway, so probably best just to get them in a position. At the moment, how are things actually going? 6% to 37%. That's what you'd hope for in the early exchanges like this. Not too bad. Uh, the hillmen are, unfortunately, taking a fair few casualties here. We are about to get these guys out of here. Yeah, indeed we do. But what we've got is levy pikemen, 
against our heavy spearmen, which very much works in our favour. Although we don't have Phalanx Formation going, yeah, they're just little daggers. We still have our spears. We have very similar attacks, but our defence is hugely, hugely better. Marvellous stuff. So uh, this is working out pretty well so far. Might just start uh, tailoring a few of these shots because as these units are getting whittled down that much, yeah, you know what? Take the more accurate shot. Take the more accurate shot. Go off fire. They're not actually going to be worrying about them around anytime soon. We'll maybe just keep a fire shot back for the end. And oh, you guys are almost out of missiles. That's fine. Just keep going. These guys will be able to relieve you very, very soon. Obviously, the units just keep on coming through the siege tower, but frankly, it's just a grinding, grinding halt of an attack as far as they're concerned. They jump off and get stabbed. Jump off, get stabbed. It's a beautiful dance, quite frankly. Um, we are we, we lost a few at the start when they came out in force, but at this stage, <laughs> it's just spectacular how quickly they're dying. We're not even really losing anyone anymore. It's been a 112 for a while. A few of them managed to get down. There we are. Someone did die. It's mainly these hillmen who are slowly getting whittled away. Um, send the peasants into these guys if at all possible. They can, yeah, if they can sort of push around, that'll be fine. Don't think we need to worry about them too much. Peasants up here are there to reflect. They've got the ladder up at last. <laughs> How long has this battle been going on? 37 minutes remaining. There must be at least 8 or 10 minutes where they've been uh, getting on with this. So, where are they going to end up fighting? Right into the spearmen, by and large. They might just clip a bit of the other peasants at the end, but that probably works in my favour. You know what? To send the horse archers over here, let's get the flanking manoeuvre, because these guys are a sorry sight at this point. I think, I think the job is being slowly but surely done. The Hillmen are fighting manfully pretty much to the last at this point. Militia hot plates going down. I think they might survive this battle because I suspect there's a good chance that these guys are not going to uh, make another push on this particular flank. I think it's down to that side now because over on this part of the battlefield, we pretty much annihilated them. Pretty much all gone at this stage. So yeah, shoot them down. Horse archers can do a bit of mopping up. That'd be lovely. They actually have the Militia Cavalry over there. Um, okay, do a bit of skirmishing with them. Just be a little bit careful. I didn't really realise they were there. Horse archers are unfortunately a little bit more tedious than I had hoped for, simply because militia cavalry are a bit awkward. We are, though, putting them in towards our towers, so whilst we'll very slowly whittle away at them with our poor aim, frankly, and their very, very wide formation, the towers will hopefully do a tiny job here and there, and essentially the rest of the army is pretty much dead at this point. In fact, even over here they seem to have finished the battle. Uh, last few lads climbing up the wall, but yeah, they're going to go down simple enough. What are they sending in this time? I think these are just militia hoplites. They are indeed, yeah. The battle is as good as done. The dramatic chase music is getting more and more appropriate because these militia cavalry are very much catching us up. Uh, um, towers have done some damage on them. We've done some damage on them. They're down to 48. But yeah, the, the chase music is getting more and more appropriate. Though, the general is going to try and meet them at the third gatehouse. And at the third gatehouse, you can see him moving there in the distance. He's going to pounce out and hopefully finish off this... Uh, <laughs> This unit who are putting up a very very good show of show I went a little bit overly the top British there uh, overly good show of trying to catch us up a few javelins now are starting to hit us we have run out of missiles uh general you know what maybe just come out actually maybe a little bit uh yeah maybe a bit presumptuous to think that we'll actually manage to run that far we're pretty exhausted Another interesting thing you might notice, by the way, is that our general this time doesn't actually have missiles because he's actually upgraded now. He's uh, obviously the marine reforms have happened at some point, and we managed to get ourselves cataphract generals, which, to be honest, are perfectly welcome. But uh, you know what? They've actually cleared them out without the general. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. By that point, they got whittled down by the towers quite a lot. Um, yeah, but it's nice to be to show that off. I, I do obviously like how Cataphract Generals are very, very strong. Uh, probably would win on one-to-one -one against pretty much any general, I would guess. But, um, you know what, I wouldn't mind quite having uh, the Javelin guys. 
as well because they're just very very effective the light lads throwing the javelins and then winning they do tend to win their battles whether or not it's actually pre or post marion i do like the armenian generals same with the pontics i think um they're probably about my favorites we will of course charge down these guys and i'm sure my general will be absolutely fine dealing with them because he's an absolute monster uh, as a cataphract of course as long as he catches them absolutely fine so we'll just charge into these guys to finish off the battle um, i will blow the horn of destiny just to be careful because they're still phalanxes so whilst we are cataphracts and they're only militia hoplites we'll blow the horn of destiny and in we go not quite not quite breaking them well done my good sir militia hoplites i'm uh impressed you actually took out quite a lot of us there we are, of course um, you know, of course, Phalanx is, so it isn't that surprising, but um, considering you're the only lands left in this battle, it's a little bit strange, to be honest. At this point, I actually need to be careful not to lose the general, which is a bit ridiculous. But there we are, it is what it is. Um, how else can we finish this guy off? We'll blow the horn one more time, hit them in the side, pull out of there before the general actually arrives. And uh, yeah, we're just going to send the peasants and the hillmen at this point because I pretty much murdered my cataphract general. What? What? Why are you dying? Why are you? Why are you dying? Is there still a battle going on? Apparently, there's still a battle going on here. And they're they're fleeing themselves off the wall. <laughs> oh, the peasants are absolutely going crazy here. They're so desperate in their bloodlust. They're just throwing. Ah, <laughs> oh, Steve, we love you, but um. Maybe a little bit over eager, to be honest. Not your, sh not your greatest moment. Let's send in these guys just to finish this off. We'll, uh, we'll just see who we can get. Um, all of you, they're just losing so many. They're just all falling off the wall. It's absolutely spectacular. How, how are you this incompetent? It's just a ladder. Why do we always forget how to ladder? Hilariously, the moment that the hillmen arrive, they decide to flee. <laughs> Okay, General, get your... General. Anyway, everyone, go get your revenge. It's fine. Pokey pokey. The Hillmen, I think, uh, probably deserved a little bit of vengeance because they've taken the brunt of this attack. But to be honest, the General, some very, very nice work. Some guys still fall into their death. Archers as well. They're just... <laughs> I, think, I think most of our deaths at the end there were just people throwing themselves off the walls. But there we are. Victory done. Captain Pyrrhus ironic name in many ways um probably not to be honest because i don't know what's pyrrhic about that it's just a victory as we reject this very old pig of a man um probably time to sum up for the day where are we at ah castra is no longer besieged because that was the siege of carthage there pretty certain it was anyway no that was castra all along oh yes of course it was castra because that's where that general is fine Fine, fine, fine. There's another army coming immediately afterwards. Carthage, though, has been relieved. Um, whether or not they could see the reinforcements or not, I don't know. But your one opportunity has now passed because I have many, many men coming. And I kind of like that we've got a speed bump on the route. That's nice to see. Okay, do a bit of merging. Lovely stuff. And get yourselves plenty of new troops. Uh, a few more of our heavy spearmen. That'll be fine. And I think... Ladies and gentlemen, it's a good place to leave it for now because, yes, with the old stab in the back, I guess, yes, I guess a slight change of plan um, just to get us over the line here. Eight more regions. Well, they have what one, two, three, four, five uh, over here. We have a couple more Brutii to take here and we have a bunch of Greek ones as well. So we might well have to end up with way more than what we planned. Oh, that'll be a nice pick off. Lovely. So yes, we'll see how that all oh, that goes next time. The GDI are looking very powerful, but uh, you know what? I don't think they're going to get in the way of my eventual victory. So uh, next time, ladies and gentlemen, we will get to victory uh, one way or another. Whether or not there'll be a little bit left to do afterwards, I don't know. But for now, yeah, I guess we can leave it. I'm Thomas, this is Human, and this has been the Map Randomizer mod for Rome Total War. Thank you, and bye-bye. No! Not again! How did you lose to the archers? Anyone who's already got children, they've just been killed. Filthy pilchards, the lot I am. Oh, <laughs> Steve! You were the best of all the Steves. Rum, pa, 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 pa.